why choose landscape architect, uh, profession of landscape architecture? Why become a landscape architect? Precisely because of climate change and placeless planning. So we see this all the time. Now, this is a natural occurrence in our country and very much all around the world. No? Uh, the world is changing um, and the environment is changing and uh, it's, it's, for, it's going for the worse. No? So we have engineering solutions. And engineering solutions are building dikes, building dams, no? which is very much uh, very costly and unnatural. But we could also have natural solutions for those things. No? This is actually called a uh, artificial wetland. It is supposed to um, seep uh, rainfall and store it in, in green spaces, no? and it can be expelled. Uh, or it can be reused. So this one actually is from Bangkok. No, this is a plan because as they uh, they are experiencing the same uh, fight that we are having in our country. Uh, this is a artificial wetland park. Construct they call it a constructed wetland. No, uh, so the the basically this is for storage of excess water that is coming in due to storms or monsoons or heavy rains so they are planning to put this not just one not just one thing not, not just one thing but all over the city so imagine imagine a city with green places like this in every corner of the of city or your town no very much become uh, very beautiful. So a landscape architect is not just a landscaper. Landscape architecture involves the planning, design, management, and nurturing of the built and natural environments. And landscape architects work to improve human and environmental health in all communities. Plans and design parks, they pl uh, yeah, this refers to landscape architects now. They plan and design parks, campuses, streetscapes, trails, plazas, residences, and other projects that strengthen communities. So in terms of, uh, I've I, I shown you this construction hierarchy. You know? So yeah, this is in terms of a project, uh, of a, a building project. But of course, landscape architects are very much involved in the process you know? because it is a very unique type of skills. and and unique type of profession that should be integrated in all construction projects. However, in the hierarchy of landscape architecture, uh, it, it can be a, the, 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 the prime professional of landscape construction. No? Because uh, as I said, this is a specialized, uh, specialized profession and deems Need, need specialized skills to produce quality works and environmental friendly works. Okay, so what is to be expected in bachelors in landscape architecture? So creativity exercises, landscape, develop, landscape design developments, landscape utility development, site planning works, specifications of vegetations that refers to trees and other plantings, um, softscape designs, hardscape designs and planting layout design. So um, this is uh, an example of a conceptual sketch no, of what you do in landscape architecture. This is a combination of uh, vegetation and hardscape. No? Hardscape refers to the your walkways, your benches, your gazebos and such. No? And softscape refers to, of course, your, your plants and vegetations. No? So it can be as uh, it can be as detailed as this. Take a look at this plan. This is a site planting layout of a um, condominium condominium site. Okay, so take a look at this. This is a site con a sectional concept, and it can become something like this later on. No uh, inclusion of hardscapes and and uh, softscapes. Okay, here are photos of what a uh, combination of, of softscape and landscape looks like. 
uh, in up here, no, this is actually what we, are, we were talking about earlier. This is an artificial artificial wetland. No? Okay, so pros being in the bachelor's in landscape architecture, less mathematics, more hands-on design. No? So landscape design leans more towards creativity. So after four years, yes, four years long, no? Four years of bachelor landscape architecture course, three to six months of review, two days of PRC board exams. Congratulations, you are now a landscape architect. And these are the uh, profession that you can go into, no? As a landscape architecture graduate versus a professional landscape architect. So as a graduate, you can become a site layout technician, computer aided design technician, visualist, 3D visualization technician, um, project manager, site construction supervisor, or a contractor. And if you are a professional landscape architect, you can do all of the above as a landscape architect. And by law, no, only a duly licensed landscape architect, architect can, is, are allowed to sign landscape design documents. Okay, so how much does the profession make? No, so if you go into contracting no, or 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 negotiations of your fee, no, a landscape architect professional make can make uh, ten percent to up to twenty percent of the total construction cost. So the duties are of course preparation of landscape, softscape design documents, material use specifications, identification of proper vegetation for specific sites and site supervision. So say you have a project of the design of a landscape for a beach resort uh, for the landscape only, no? uh, which costs 1.5 million pesos and you neg negotiated 10% uh, 10 of the total cost of construction for the landscape only. And the, that, that is equivalent to 100, 150,000 pesos. So... Uh, same as before, this will be divided in terms of completion of the project. And if you want to be employed as a landscape architect, no, so um, similar to architects, no, uh, they make in say in, in countries like Singapore, they make up to three thousand to eight thousand uh, dollars per month. Uh, while in local practice, no, an entry level makes around twenty eight thousand pesos. And as you go up in experience, you make more, no? Employed as a landscape architect in firms, uh, up to 60,000 to 90,000 pesos per month. And similar to um, architects, no? A landscape architect can go into practice in government also with similar pay scale. And of course, they can venture into business process outsourcing, which is a trend that everyone really needs to look into. Okay, so uh, bachelors in landscape architecture shares uh, facilities for, uh, with the architecture program of the of University of San Agustin, with a few uh, exceptions. No, uh, of course they they make use of the drafting studios of BS Architecture, and we have the botanical garden in University of San Agustin which was uh, designed by our very own landscape architect, no, architect, uh, one of the, the earliest landscape professional in the Philippines, architect Nathaniel Duenas. Okay, and we have our own landscape uh, architect studio and audiovisual room, and of course, shared laboratories for uh, computer-aided design uh, with the College of Technology. Okay, so why choose uh, landscape architecture in, in University of San Agustin? Because it is the only school in Panay which offers bachelors in landscape architecture and one of only four in the Philippines which offers bachelors in landscape architecture. The only schools are here, San Agustin, uh, UP Diliman, San Carlos University, and Bulacan State University which uh, I would like to say we have a consortium with all of those schools. No? So we, we share faculty and we, sh we can share faculty and we can share ideas. No? Student exchange is even a possibility. Okay, so why choose BLA? No? So take a look at this number. There are uh, almost 100,000 
civil engineers in the Philippines, there are almost 40,000 architects in the Philippines, professionals, but there are only 500 plus uh, landscape architects in the Philippines as of 2020. Okay, so that's my presentation. So I hope uh, some of you will be considering taking up landscape architecture. It is a very unique skill that you will be learning, uh, that you can learn. Thank you very much.